Hello, uh, I'm Lewis, the uh, creator of the, F, uh, the Finer Things blog, and today I'm going to show you my humidor. Um, I just made it uh, using a box, um, a cigar box from a Jose Ce uh, Ceijas uh, Signature Series 2000, and so here it is. This is the box. It comes with a little nice little thingy. It's leather bound. It's really nice. Open it up. Little humidor puck and a hygrometer. I need to get the moisture in here a little bit higher. And here are some of my cigars. Pull that out. Nice little uh, tray thingy. I drilled holes into the. Uh, let me just pull these out into the uh, little trays here so that it would uh, so the air would circulate better Here's some more of my cigars and I need to stack I need to you know uh, I need to fill up some more and down there are some more little humidor thingies to keep it humid in there and this is another tray in case I um, when I get more cigars Yeah, well, so that's my humidor. Um, I would suggest that, you know, if you are a connoisseur of cigars like I am, that you definitely get one yourself. Um, if you don't want to pay like a hundred bucks for one, uh, I made this one myself and I think it's pretty good. Um, it probably cost me about 50 bucks to make the box since it's such high quality. It's uh, Spanish cedar and, um, and it's like I said, it's leather bound. Um, you know, with all the little uh, humidification stuff and the little um, hygrometer, it cost me about fifty to sixty dollars. So forty dollars savings, not bad. It would hold about sixteen Churchills, depending on whether you you use these little tubes or not, which I do. So this takes away two spot, two places. So if you don't use those, it would use uh, you could put eighteen Churchills in there, or a couple of rob or a lot more robustos. But, you know, it's all up to you. So um, I hope you enjoyed, and that's my uh, humidor.